Okay, hey guys, that was just my jam that I was listening to. So, okay, so it's getting back to school time again, and I had somebody request a what's in my locker video. I'll do that later on, like when it gets closer to school, because I don't even know what I'm going to put in my locker yet. So, what I'm going to do is for y'all 6th graders that are going into middle school, well, it, this is for like 6th, 7th, and even 8th, so, I'm going to give y'all some tips and tricks on how to survive in middle school, because believe me, it can get a little crazy. So, for the 6th graders, because 8th and 7th graders probably know how to do this, the first thing is locker. How to use the combination. How to do your combination. So, like, I don't think they change it. I think they're all the same. So, like, the ones at my school are, like, right to your first number, then left to your second number, and then right to your third number. And then, like, you stop. No, it's right to your first number. Like, you pass up your first number, and then you land on your first. It, it's confusing, but, like, not really. Like, okay, so you, <sighs> lots of words. So you go right to your first number, but you pass it up, and then you stop on it. So, like, yeah. And then you go left to your second number, and then to your third number. But I don't get why you have to pass it up the first time or that. So, like, just, like, to remember your combo, like, get a bracelet that's, like, a fancy bracelet. But it's, like, one of those rubber band ones, and, like flip it inside out and like write your combination on that so like if you forget it because like me I forget it, a lot of stuff so that will help you remember your combination hold on one second <laughs> Okay, I need a little jam moment there. Okay, so, um, organization. Just, like, get a locker shelf. You need a locker shelf. And if you're going to be using your locker a lot. So, get a locker shelf. They look like, let me get mine. Actually, I'm using mine right now. So, never mind. But, like, you can get them at, um, Target, Walmart, Office Depot, Office Max, and that, and, like, they're, like, little shelves, but, like, get the ones that fold up so you can easily get them in and out of your locker, so get a locker shelf, and, like, maybe, like, little things to put on your locker wall to, like, put pins of that in, and locker wallpaper, whatever decorations you want to put in there. Um, so, like, you use your locker for... Between classes, like, put your books in there, binders, and then, like, between classes you can get them. And, okay, study tips. Um, so, last year for Spanish was kind of hard for me. I mean, I passed it. But I was, like, on the edge there. So, like, what I'm going to do this year is make flashcards. Because last year those seemed to help me, and so I'm going to make flashcards. So, get a flashcard holder and make flashcards. They will help you if you're in Spanish or anything like that. Maybe math, too, because I struggle with math, too. So, that's a study tip. And then another study tip is to, like, because I get distracted a lot, so, like, do a little bit of your homework and then listen to some music or something like this. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, so yeah, it's just like listening to your favorite music while you're doing your homework or just like take a break after like a couple of problems and then listen to music. Or like whenever you're reading, you can put like candy on the page and after you finish like a um, chapter or a section, you can eat that piece of candy so you, oh, so you get a privilege afterwards. Okay, so three, this is for y'all, I don't know if sixth graders have volleyball teams where y'all are at. But this is for all of y'all guys. Because only here they have 7th and 8th grade volleyball. And then all high school we have volleyball. But yeah. So I tried out for the team this year. Didn't make it. But uh, I was kind of bad at the beginning of the year. Not to lie. And then I started getting to like practice more. And my dad signed me up for 
um, a team, so I got to practice in that. So, um, what to do when you're trying out for the team is, like, focus. Don't focus on anybody around you. Focus on what you're doing because I focused on this teacher and I didn't make it because I was, like, nervous and I kept messing up. So, yeah, focus on what you're doing. Don't worry if, like, people are watching you or whatever. Just do your best and that's all you can do. And the basketball team. Well, at my school, all the people, like, we did, like, layups and that, and, like, I suck at basketball, so didn't make it, of course. Um, but, like, practice, practice, practice basketball, because <laughs> I ran the wrong way on the court before, so, yeah, if you know basketball, practice it and do it, because it's, that's not my sport. Volleyball's my sport. Oh, and if y'all are wondering, I'm a setter and libero in volleyball, so. Okay. Um, first day of school, first day of sixth grade was, for me, was, like, terrifying, but not, it's not gonna be bad, but it wasn't that bad, like, I mean, I didn't know where to sit at lunch, but, like, I finally found some friends of mine, and I sat with them that I knew from elementary, and at lunch, it can get, hold on. At lunch, it could get a little crazy with all the lines, because at my school, they have, like, three lines. I think that's all, all middle schools, they have that. One for, like, snacks, one for, like, the food of the day, or something like that. And the other one's, like, just for pizza. So, like, get to the lunch early is what I can say. Like, get to lunch early if you can. Um, but don't, like, if you're upstairs, don't, like, <laughs> run and trip down the stairs to get to lunch. Because, like, I know when I'm going to lunch, the hallways can get a little cuckoo. So, yeah, just try and get to lunch early so you don't have to wait in a long line. Um, what to wear on the first day of school? I wear, like, dresses and that, but, like, you can, like, express yourself. Like, wear whatever you think is that you look cute in and like wear a cute outfit like on the first day of school not wear like what I'm wearing <laughs> like don't wear this no just wear like a dress if you're a girl and like dress up if you're a guy so yeah um homework in middle school okay so sixth grade homework wasn't there was not much homework seventh grade homework even get to what's in high school. I'm like, oh. But yeah, if you're taking like upper level classes in middle school, like level one classes in that, then you need to get home, not play on your phone, and like study really, really, really hard. Because if you don't, can't 100% sure that you will do as great as you want to in that class. Because like I was in Spanish, and I'm not gonna lie, I made like a 70. I almost failed the end of the year and didn't get my credit. <laughs> I was like trying to think about it. Um, I didn't, I almost didn't get my credit and then I worked really, really hard, started studying and those flashcards really work for Spanish, just saying. And studied, went to um, tutoring after school, go to tutoring. If you need help in a class, go to tutoring. And, like, it helped me a bunch. At the end of the year, I made an 80 in the class, which that's good for me in Spanish because I'm not good at Espanol. <laughs> so, yeah, just, like, do your homework. If you need to take a break, take a 30-minute break, maybe. Maybe a 5-minute, maybe a 10. Maybe, like, however late you're doing your homework, just, like, take a break. And then come back to it. Like, eat a snack and come back to it. So, that's all the tips that I have for today. So, hope you enjoyed this video and like it up and subscribe below. And I will be doing the What's in My Locker video closer to when it gets to school time. So, thank you. How do I make you stay? Hey,